Hi everyone, Blaine here, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Zebo 737 mod. Uh, I've had some people ask to, uh, for me to do this, so I'm going to show you. It's really, really easy, not complicated at all, and uh, the Zebo 737 mod is, is really a work of art. We, we have to give it to Zebo and, uh, and Twixter because they are just, they've poured their heart and soul into this aircraft, and it's made it really, really wonderful for a lot of us to fly. So uh, it's, it's truly awesome. And the only thing that makes it better, other than, I guess, being free, is that it's continually being developed. Uh, you know, when I started doing this uh, about a year or two ago, um, it, there were, you know, the plane wouldn't level off on certain things, it just wouldn't work, and, and, and every every day it seems to get better so we are we are so appreciative to those two guys uh, so with that in mind we're gonna get started so open a browser to the internet doesn't matter whether it's Chrome Internet Explorer uh, Firefox whatever you want to do and uh, go to Google and start by just typing in Zebo mod and hit enter the first result that should return will be the form post on Xplane forms of the Zebo mod and so you're gonna want to go to that and uh, this basically here has the information about what it is and what it has. And uh, you want to go down to where it says download links and select link Zebo mod. It takes you to a Google Drive and you'll want to open that. This is Zebo mods, uh, Zebo's um, Google Drive and this is where he updates the, uh, the program. So I would bookmark this page if you haven't done it already. Uh, and uh, basically the file right here is going to be the most uh, the most current copy. Now if there's several files there you just want to go either alphabetically or alphanumerically to make sure that you have the latest one. So because this version is 3.29 Charlie you would want that one. If it was if there was 3.29 Delta then you would want to take that because it's it's the newest one. So what you would basically do is you would right click on it and you would go download. It may give you a thing that says you know hey it's it, it exceeds the file size uh, you know about the about what to download uh, we can't scan it that's fine just hit download anyway and uh, you should be all good to start downloading it and then you'll see that it started downloading now I already have it in my download folder so I'm not gonna download it now but what I will do is I will go get it and show you what we do from here so once you've completed the download, uh, basically it will appear as a zip file in your downloads file. And what you then want to do is right click on it and then go to uh, extract. Now if you don't have 7-zip, that's fine. There should just be a, a selection here that says, you know, extract to a folder. And that's the selection you want to make. You want to extract it to a name folder of the file. And then it will go through its process here of doing that. And now you can see that it's been extracted to a file folder. So if you go into it, the name of the folder is already there, and this folder here you don't want to change. You want to keep that the correct, uh, you want to keep that the same name. So this contains all of the information here. Uh, if you want to just use the Zebo mod as is, you can just copy all of these uh, as is. However, uh, if you want to use, um, you know, the 4K textures that are here, then you would want to read the README and things like that. So basically, now that it's it's ready to go, hit back and then uh, copy this file folder right here. So I usually just go right click and cut. And then you want to go to your explain folder. Once you get to your explain folder, you're then going to want to install the Zemo mod. So you would go to the aircraft file folder. And what I do and what's worked really good for me is I make a Zebo folder. So I just go new and I name it Zebo. And then I paste that file in there. And then honestly, you're pretty much done. All you have to do now is load into uh, load into Xplane. A couple of things to consider though is um, the the Zebo comes with some livres. However, you may want a different one. I personally use WestJet because I'm from I'm from Western Canada, uh, and uh, I'm gonna have a link in the description of where you can download all of the uh, livres that are available for this aircraft. Um, also, I'm gonna have a uh, a link to my checklist that I've made for the Zebo mod, uh, so that you can go ahead and uh, start it up once you get it installed, and that will be able to, to to get you on your way. So if you don't have to add any livres that's okay. The other thing you may want to consider adding are plugins such as Pilot Edge or Terrain Radar or uh, a sound pack. 
um, or Smart Copilot, there's a variety of different things you can add to the Zebo mod. And if you were to do that, you would download uh, obviously those off the forums usually, or off of a third-party site that uh, maybe is payware. And then what you would do is you would go into the plugins folder, and you would you would copy that uh, plugin as directed into this folder, and then that will enable you different plugins. Uh, when you take screenshots in X-Plane, those are going to come out of output. Now currently we don't have a folder called output because we don't have any screenshots because this is a fresh install. Uh, but that's where your um, that's where your screenshots will save. Now again because this is a fresh install you're gonna have to do a couple of things when you get into the aircraft. You're gonna have to set your camera angles and I'll show you how to do that. But for all intents and purposes it's ready to go. So you can close those files and then you want to go to X-Plane whether you have that through Steam or whether you have that through Laminar and uh, we will go ahead and uh, load into the aircraft. So now that we're ready to go, we can enter the actual aircraft. So we're going to go New Flight, and we're going to see that um, the aircraft is Boeing 737-800X. So that's, that's our Zebo mod. And then if we hit Customize, we can choose to start with the engines running, we can choose our weight, fuel, and balance, um, and we can also change our livery here to whichever one you want. Uh, so we'll stick with American, uh, just for sake of argument here, and then we will load into uh, the actual aircraft. So I'm going to start with the engine running, just because it's easy, uh, and I'm also going to choose um, a different airfield, just one that I know. So we'll start on the runway, ready to go, and uh, from there I will show you how to set a couple of things up. So now we're in the aircraft and uh, we're basically able to start using it. So what we're going to have to do initially is set our camera angles uh, because right now there are none and uh, you, you have to do that. So one of the best features of X-Plane is that you can set um, 10 different camera angles and how you would do that is once you've selected a camera angle that you want to use you would basically hold down control and then hit uh, a number on your numpad. So if you hit control 4 then that will save to uh, the memory of your of your preferences. So you didn't see the file but in, in the ZeboMod folder there is a file called B737 prefs for preferences and that's where it saves. Um, so you can have pretty much any different angle you want. You could set one to look into the lavatory if you want. Um, but uh, there's kind of default views that I've noticed people use and so I'll show you what ones I use uh, and, and then you can configure the aircraft how you'd like. So first thing you want to do is go to view and you want to go to internal and make sure that it's set to 3D panel. And then if you use your uh, your up and down arrows you can go up if you use your left and right arrows, you can go left or right. If you hold down the period button on your keyboard, you'll move in, and if you hold down the comma, you'll move out. If you want to increase the speed at which you do that, you can hold down shift, period, and you'll move in faster, or comma, period, sorry, shift, comma, and you'll move out. So with that in mind, now that we know how to move around the, uh, the flight deck, let's go ahead and set some angles. So to kind of reset my initial view, I'm going to go back to view, and I'm going to go internal 3D. So how I have this set up is I want to be able to see uh, most of the uh, displays uh, in, in my view, but I also want to have the toga button there. So this is the main view that I have. I call it my pilot view, and I go control 4 for this. The next thing I do is I set the co-pilot window, so I use just the arrow key, and I go across here, and then I move it to this window, and then I hit control 6. Now if I want to go back to my pilot and command one, all I have to do is hit 4 on my number pad and it puts me right back there, which is fantastic. The next thing you can do is set uh, outside camera angles too. So how you do that is you go to view, external, and I always start with chase because the other ones are kind of weird. Chase puts you directly behind the aircraft. And then again, if you use your mouse, you can go up or down by using the left, sorry, the right click on your mouse. Um, I always use, like I have Chase set like this as one, so I would go Control 8, that's how I have it. And then for me, I have a left wing view from the back, and I have a right wing from the front. So my left wing back is like this, and I go Control 7. And then my other one is like this, that's my, that's my front wing, and I go Control 9. So now, if I wanted to go to the back, or the other side, I could easily see it. 
what if I want to go back into the aircraft? Well, I just have to hit 4 again, and then I'm there. And then some of the other views I have personally are I have one specific to the uh, to the MCP. Uh, I also have one specific to the FMC. This is one that I'd highly highly recommend because you're going to flip back and forth through the uh, through the FMC a lot. And uh, you know you're going to be, for example, if I set this one, it would be Control Zero. You're going to be going, okay, I have to change something on the MCP. Oh, what is it again? Oh, there it is. So using these camera angles, it's really, really easy to uh, set up. Um, and that's basically it. That's the installation of the Zeebo mod uh, as kind of a default uh, usage. So hope you have a good time flying. Uh, again, in the description, there's going to be a link to other liveries that are available. There's also going to be a link to my checklist for how to start up the aircraft from cold and dark, as well as a link to my other video about the entire general pre-flight checklist utilizing that uh, that checklist that I'm going to have as a document you can download so you can start from cold and dark and get yourself in the wind. Uh, thanks so much for watching and uh, have, have a good flight. Be sure to hit subscribe to be notified when new videos are posted. Thanks for watching!